how do things fly and stay in the air for so long? I mean like birds, planes, insects, that frisbee. What if it's magic? Actually, it's called lift and there's a bit of an argument. When we throw a frisbee in the air, the natural curved edge of the disc creates an airfoil, similar to the curved wings on an airplane. This particular shape manipulates air flowing on top of the frisbee to travel at a faster velocity than the air flowing below it. But why is the speed difference so important? Well, that's where we get the first explanation for lift. Bernoulli's principle. It's a conservation equation that states that air at a higher velocity will result in a lower air pressure. This means that the speed difference on the two sides of the frisbee also creates a non-negligible pressure difference. The low pressure air on top of the frisbee pulls, while the high pressure air on the bottom pushes. So what's the other explanation? Well, to get to the Newtonian explanation for lift, we need to first look at what is known as the Kawanda effect. The Kawanda effect dictates that fluid jet streams tend to stay attached to convex surfaces. This is why water curves around a spoon. From this idea, we can speculate that air must also stay attached to a frisbee's curved edge, eventually leading air to be pushed downwards. According to Newton's third law, we know that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if air is being pushed downwards, then there must be another force pushing upward. Both of these explanations also help to dictate which way our frisbee curves. Lift is always directed perpendicular to the surface generating it. When we bank our frisbee to the left or the right, the horizontal component of our lift vector changes so that the disc flies in that direction. So what if we flip the frisbee upside down? Well, both explanations show that lift is still at work, just forcing the object downwards. This kind of lift is what race cars use to increase grip strength and control on a racetrack. Alright, so it's not magic, but which explanation is correct? Well, that's the thing. Nobody really knows. Scientists can't explain which phenomenon actually creates lift or how lift really works. Birds can glide and flap, which is evidence for both. So maybe it's not so black and white. Like, we can agree that magic is definitely not the answer. Both may be valid explanations for flight.